Though the peace that I see Not like the world It only takes what it gives Come to me And your burden will be light Know the love I have for you When you walk by my side Praise the Lord. Ken Green here. Pray you're having a good day today, all day long. Well, I've got a thought for you from the Word of God and a song that I've written to go along with it. And uh, just thinking about uh, what Jesus is thinking about today. <clears throat> you know, I don't know if you're like me, but <clears throat> sometimes, you know, I'll even ask the Lord, Lord, how are you doing today, Lord? What's on your mind today? What are you thinking about today? And of course, uh, you know, I begin to think about that. I, and the scripture came to me how that, you know, in Matthew 23, verse 37, Luke 19, verse 1. And I just kind of tie these together that Jesus, <clears throat> the Bible said he came into Jerusalem and he looked over Jerusalem and he wept. Think about that. We know he wept at the tomb of Lazarus. But he also looked over Jerusalem, the whole city, and he wept. And I wonder what he saw that made him weep. And I believe that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I wonder, does he look over America sometimes? Does he look over the world sometimes and what he sees? You know, he can go into every home in every life. He can see the hurts, the broken lives, the abuse. He can see the addictions. He can see uh, the evil, the crime, and all the things that's going on. But the Bible says he looked over Jerusalem and he wept. And he says, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. He said, I I've sent you, he said, the prophets and those that I've sent to you, you have rejected. He said, I would have gathered you like a mother hen gathers her little ones, but you refused. You would not. And because you have rejected my peace, and that's what he says in Luke 19. He talks about you've rejected the peace. He said, and also you have rejected your day of visitation. I visited you. Oh, what a special thing for Jesus to visit you. He said, I have visited you, but you have rejected it. Therefore, enemies will come and you will suffer because of that. And perhaps Jesus grieved because he looked and he saw the things that were to come to pass because of the people that he loves. And I want you to know, friend, that he loves you. Jesus loved you so much. I saw a plaque once that said how he loved us so much that he reached out his hands and died. And of course, there was nail prints in those hands. And the Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. The scripture in Hebrews tells us that he ever lives to make intercession. So his ministry even continues today. And he's still reaching out today. You know, David said in one place, he said, your thoughts toward me are more than can be numbered. Can you imagine that? That's a lot of numbering. And I believe that he's still thinking about you. He's still in the ministry, ministering for you. And I wonder sometimes if his heart is broken when he looks and sees those who reject the peace that he gives. Because you see, we need him. Without him, we're lost. Without him, there is no hope. The wages of sin is death. And the word death there in Romans 6 33, I believe it is, toward the end of Romans 6. He said the wages of sin is death. That word death isn't like turning off a machine and it's all over. Because you see, you are eternal. We are eternal. You are a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body. And you're going to live forever somewhere, either in heaven or hell. I know we don't like that part. But I tell you what, it's a truth. And that's what Jesus came to do, to deliver us from the bondage of sin and hell. And only Jesus has the keys to death and hell. Only Jesus is the Prince of Peace, and he comes to bring peace and bring life. Well, this particular song I wrote, I've written it in a way that it's Jesus speaking. And so I pray that you will hear the words that I bring this message, that this is a message from Jesus. It's not me. I'm just 
a vessel and I'm not a great singer, but I love the Lord and I want to bring a message and I want the message to be above any talent that I would have. That's not the issue. The issue is for you to know the love of God. And so I want you to uh, uh, listen to this message entitled, Come to Me, as if Jesus is speaking to you. So let it speak to you. With a heavy heart tonight All I've said and all I've done But still they don't get it right Prophets, kings, and angels I have sent to you Cause you are always on my mind You have missed your visitation And the love I had for you that's why I'm weeping tonight. Come to me, know the peace that I send. Not like the world that only takes what it gives. Come to me, burden will be light. Know the love I have for you when you walk. By my side, come to me. Jesus is still the same. He searches hearts tonight as the Holy Spirit draws me and you. Blinded by sin and the hardness of our hearts. So many things keep us from here. Oh, don't miss your visitation and the love that he gives. When he died on the cross that we might need. song and the thought. Remember the scripture says, the eyes of the Lord go to and fro throughout the whole earth, seeking for those whose heart is upright and perfect toward him. He's just reaching out and his thoughts toward you are more than can be numbered. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you is my prayer.